back to my channel. It's your girl, Penny. And today I got my dad back with me. And we decided to go to Aldi's, guys. And we wanted to do like an Aldi's haul, kind of like how we did our Trader Joe's haul. Um, but today was more like a grocery shopping experience. Um, I had a meal that I wanted to try to make for dad, pork chops. Yeah, he, yeah. He's been talking about pork chops. And I was going to order them out. Then I'm like, you know what, Penny? You go to Aldi's, get the stuff. Why not do a video? Yeah. So I got some snacky stuff too. Super Bowl's coming up. You'll probably see this video on Super Bowl Sunday. So I kind of got some snacky stuff to, in mind for us to have tomorrow. With his, I'm going to make him his pork chops. Hopefully that all comes out. I'm making smothered pork chops, guys. Have you ever had smothered pork chops? But anyway, before we get into this review, I please ask you to subscribe. Come join my Penny Pinchers crew. They're all supportive and very respectful and we just were asking you to subscribe great 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 and just subscribe it's free it's easy it's down below click it's it easy. boop it smash it boop it whatever you gotta do it's down below dad or dad it's <laughs> down below guys i'm gonna leave that in there but anyway like i said i i got some things at aldi's uh we just want to talk about a couple things maybe give you some prices so I've seen these. They have taken baked pizzas at all these guys. I have never had one. And if I had, that was a long, long time ago. Oh, before I get into this though, I want to say something. Yeah. All these back when I was probably a young teen. Yeah. All these came around and I, we didn't really like it much. No. It it, it was, was different. It, it's because it was different. It was, the foods were real generic. The canned foods didn't taste good. Right. The cereals didn't really taste good. But all these has come up in the last 40 years, right. I would say. Yeah. They have yeah. really beefed up their, they got meat section, uh, fruits and vegetables, and a lot of new and interesting things. So anyway, um, like I said, they got take and bake pizzas. I didn't get a big humongous pizza because tomorrow he's probably going to have his uh, smothered pork chops if I make them correctly. But I wanted to try this little flatbread pizza out. It's a little, it's a little flatbread pizza. It's a flatbread pepperoni and mozzarella pizza. It Sounds was, good. It was looking good. good. And it's not very big. I mean, it's enough for maybe like two people to enjoy or one person if you can eat a lot. But it's looking really good, guys. I want to tell you the price on that. And that's probably going to be the hard thing to look on this receipt and find the price. Um... The flatbread pizza, this was $5.29, guys. Like I said, it's be enough for, you know, two people to share or one person if you've got yeah. a big appetite. Yeah. But it sounds good. It's got mozzarella it, cheese on it, it pepperoni. Looks good. It looks, as far as I can, I can see, see, it looks good. As far as I can see. And if you're new to the channel, guys, the reason why he's saying that it sounds is, good. Yeah. Dad has vision loss, um, macular degeneration. So that's why he says from what he can see. He can see a little bit, but he can't see a lot of big detail. Set stuff down, I guess. This is something I picked up for me. It's crispy dim sum. You get four shrimp wontons, four shrimp uh, money bags, and four shrimp spring rolls, guys. It's in the freezer section. Now, this isn't something Dad would eat, I don't think. He might get adventuresome and try one. Um, boy, how much was this? If it's shrimp, it's pretty expensive. No. It was actually six ninety nine, and you get twelve different little appetizers. So I mean, it's a little, yeah, but not too you bad. You like uh, sauce? And you get real sauce. It comes with a sweet chili sauce included. Oh, okay. But I also bought a jar of their orange stir fry sauce, like orange chicken stir fry sauce. How much was that? I bought that in case I wanted to dip those in that as well. Um, the stir fry sauce. They're, they got different flavor stir fry sauce. They got like General So's and soy sauce and teriyaki. And they were all $2.49 for a pretty good sized jar, guys. Yeah. And you can use it as a dip or in your stir fry cooking or whatever. Pretty right. good. Pretty good. Not too bad. Now here's something else I picked up for me. Egg, pork egg rolls. Now, I might get him to take a bite of them. I don't know. I have heard of them. I have uh, seen people eat them. I've never ate them. He's not a big Chinese person, guys. Um, he's only had a few little dishes of Chinese, and he's just he's he's more like a meat and potatoes man. Yeah, Anything I, that's kind of I don't I, I can't I can't try too much uh, off the wall stuff. But he he might take a bite of these pork egg rolls we don't know i can eat anything if i no, say they're no. really good he might take a bite yeah I might. so he might 
But these pork egg rolls look really good. Now these were in the fresh section. They weren't frozen. It says you can, they're microwavable. I think I'm gonna put them in the oven so they get nice and crispy. But how many's in here? There's two, four, five pretty good size egg rolls in here, guys. How much did I spend on these? Three dollars and three dollars and ninety nine cents here yeah. in Ohio. So that's yeah, not too bad. bad. You get five pretty good size egg rolls. They're bigger than the egg rolls you get at the Chinese rest most Chinese restaurants. Okay, like I said, I was gonna make him some smothered pork chops. So I had to find some pork chops that weren't too too thick, but had the bone in. And these have like three or four. I think there's three pretty good sized pork chops in a container like that, and they look really really fresh, guys. They're center cut pork chops. They look really, really fresh. The one was five dollars and forty-six cents, and the other one was four dollars and fifty-nine cents. Not bad, not bad. And they look like the ones we used to they're get at Walmart. Good. They look they're nice and fresh, good. and they have the bone in. So that's what I'm making a smothered pork chop. I'll tell you what: if you buy pork chop, <laughs> buy bone in, and you'll get flavor. You. That's the best you'll, flavor. You. You will thank me for it. Yep. If you're gonna have pork chops, he wants the bone in. Like you said, it's. Um, they have sliced mushrooms. They had regular mushrooms too where you could slice them up themselves. I'm just trying to save myself some time, guys. This thing is sliced mushrooms. What kind are they? Just the white, just the little white uh, button mushrooms, guys. It's $1.89. So I figured like that's a pretty good buy. It's, it's eight ounces, so it's a pretty good buy, I think. Um, I just got, I just wanted to show you that Aldi's do, does, Aldi's does have, uh, name brand stuff. And they had the Campbell's, uh, cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. I got a few cans of each to make those smothered mushroom, or yeah. smothered pork chops with. I'm doing those in a crock pot too, guys. Figured I'd say that. I'm trying to set stuff off the table so we can get to it. Oh, um, I was really shocked to see this at Aldi's. We always go to Kroger and get this. Spa Bevin's mashed potatoes. You stick them in the microwave and they got good flavor, guys. You don't have to add salt, pepper, butter, or nothing to these really? things. Really? Yeah, it's the, it's the Spa Bevin's ma okay. mashed potatoes. Okay, Bob Bevin's. Yeah, okay. like we normally get in a tub. They have them in all these guys. They do. Yeah. Bob Bevin's mashed potatoes. Uh, each one was $3.64. I mean, there's like four big servings in these guys. Yeah. So I got two two of them for his. I, I felt them. I, tell, I, yeah, I did. I felt them yep. for the but, she did. Um, and that's the reason I'm saying, yeah, that's yeah. too good well, you, well, you know what size they are because we've gotten them before. The no, pop, okay. It's Bob Evans. Okay. It's a Bob Evans tub, so he knows what they are. He, we've had them before. I was just really shocked that Aldi's had them. I didn't know the brand name. It's Bob I, Evans. I can't see it. Yeah. What you haven't told me. I you've told know. me. You've told me Bob Evans before. Mashed potatoes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know that they had Aldi's. Oh yeah, I didn't know they had them at Aldi's. I I just, they shocked them. me, guys. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm gonna do some snacky stuff while he's having his smothered pork chops tomorrow. If those, if they turn out, who knows? We'll find out, right? But um, I got this salsa con uh, queso, and I also got this uh, queso blanco cheese I'm going to heat up and eat with some chips. So each tub of this cheese was $2.89, guys, and it's a pretty good sized tub. It's 12 ounces, so snacky foods for tomorrow's Super Bowl. And I wanted to try some, they got a lot of different cheeses at, uh, all these as well. I got some of this camembert cheese. I was told it's a lot like brie, but not quite as strong as brie. It's like a soft cheese. The price on this camembert cheese was three dollars and sixty nine cents, guys. It's seven ounces, so it's a lot of cheese. But I wanted to try it out. Cheese, cheese, a lot on cheese. I, I'm, I'm so much on, on cheese. certain things. I'm on raw cheese. Or, well, that's packaged cheese. Well, right? Yeah, that's raw cheese. You just cut well, it and put it on a piece of cracker. Okay. Whatever. Soft cheese or something. Yeah. I, I'm more onto like different cheeses. He likes like pepper jack cheese to sit around and right, eat guys. Right. It, it, that's about it. Like, that's about all the snacky that's cheese it, that you normally do. I like everything. I like Swiss. I, but I don't sit around and eat it like he does either. So it's kind of weird. Like I like cheese on stuff. He... I you can take it or leave it. Snacking. Yeah, you'd rather snack on it than snack on eat cheese. it on stuff. Crackers like this pizza. I thought this was kind of cool, guys. Chocolate whipped dairy topping. 
I wanted to put squirt a little bit of this on one of my coffees in the mornings and see if it's any good. It's just whipped topping in a can. This big can of whipped topping is two dollars and ninety nine cents, guys. Two dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. Okay, I uh, like I said, I got the cheese and stuff. I thought maybe I would want um like uh what they call them Triscuit crackers the woven crackers this is just a, okay. this is just a uh, original brand, original flavor I wanted to try out their Triscuit type crackers from Aldi's so it's the Aldi's brand it's Aldi's brand on it yeah it's Aldi's brand this box was two dollars and thirty nine cents now that's a deal if these is or if these are as good as Triscuit crackers that's half the price that you would spend on the uh, Triscuit crackers, crackers so that, I, I, I don't like saltines myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to show these. Um, they're really kind of nonsense, but I like to take like little snacky stuff to work because I like, do a video with food and in, in the evening at work I do just like a little snack. So they have these little cheese, like cream cheese dip snack packs. One is um, garden vegetable and one is jalapeno. It's got cream cheese in the bottom of it. It has a little thing of pretzels. About 200 calories per pack. Um, they have a lot of little things like that with cheese and nuts and raisins, like for little snack packs for like kids for their lunches and stuff like that. These are kind of eh. a dollar forty nine per p per each one. So I mean, it's a little snack pack to pack in your lunch. Yeah, nothing major. I'm making a mess, guys, because I don't know where else to put all this stuff. But anyway, and then I figured I would get some um, grapes. And they had some really good red looking red grapes, and they had some really good looking green grapes. Now, I didn't taste test one. Well, to you should have tasted I it. didn't taste test one to find out, guys. The store was busy, I and I just feel, I feel, Dad always tastes tests. So <laughs> they're going to come for you and come uh, get you. Uh, they're going to come charge you. Dad used to, but that too, and I was a little afraid with COVID and stuff, and people yeah, touching yeah. stuff. I'm a little afraid of taste testing anymore. That was pre-COVID. So anyway, I just wanted to show you. This is a pretty good sized thing of grapes. It's a three pound package of grapes. Now they have green grapes by themselves. I like snake on those. And too. red grapes by themselves. But I liked how it had the red and the green together in one package. Yeah. These were $6.99. But it's, like I said, it's a three pound thing. If it tastes good, I, I don't mind. So much. It's a, that's all. That's all. And they're big grapes. You see them. They're pretty good sized grapes. So I wanted to try them. And I got a couple more things, guys, and I'll be done. I wanted to get um, one of our friends bought Dad some muffins, uh, blueberry muffins. Weren't they yeah, those blueberry muffins? Blueberry. That... Yeah. One of my friends bought Dad some blueberry muffins. Uh, I can't remember where from. Sims. No, Sims. no, those were. Connie oh, got you the ones okay. from Aldi's. Aldi. Okay. From okay. Aldi. I call it Aldi's from Aldi, and uh, she got him some um, blueberry muffins. I think it was for his birthday, and he really liked them. Now I was gonna get another pack of those, but then I saw these little mini, like little coffee cakes, and they're like little mini coffee cakes. One is um, red velvet cake, and one is cinnamon cream cheese little coffee cakes. So they, have, they have tried a lot of cinnamon on everything. I know. Uh, well, they, I've been trying on you. Well, that... they, they, uh, they do new brands, new products. Yeah, new... cinnamon is like the hot like spice now. Everybody's yeah. like wanting cinnamon. It is. It is. It is no. So, I mean, I mean, we go in like spurts of like what's popular and what's, I guess, I don't know. But, yeah. but and for some reason, I pick it up too, so I don't know why. But anyway, these little coffee cakes, each one of these little containers is uh, $4.39. Mm. But there are 12 little cakes in here. So, I mean, if you have a family, I think it's a, a good, good little, if they're good, I don't know if they're any good, guys. We'll find out. And I bought that cheese and stuff, so I wanted to get some, um, like, tortilla chips. I got some restaurant-style tortilla chips. This is a pretty good-sized bag. Oh, that's not bad. Let me double check. Yeah, these tortilla chips were only a dollar eighty nine for this whole big bag. That's pretty oh, good. Yeah. That is really good. So I wanted to do my uh, my cheese dip with these. So anyway, that's what we're. Uh, so stay tuned. This will be part one, I guess. I'll I'll call it Aldi haul or whatever. 
And then we'll do a part two, which we'll do, I'll do some tasting of some of this stuff. And hopefully the smothered pork chops that I make for dad turn out okay. And then he can have that while I'm tasting some of this other crazy stuff. But other than that, we hope you have a great day, right? You're right. Bye-bye. <laughs> so long and uh, welcome. Uh, thank you for having us in your home. Right. And uh, we're, uh, we're happy to be here for you. Yeah. So anyway, guys, until next time, he said it already. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>